Hey guys, it's Jamil here. Thanks for joining and uh, welcome to Jam Draws. Today what I'm drawing is a Japanese bookstore. It's gonna be a loose sketch with uh, well semi loose sketch with um, water coloring. You're gonna be seeing me try out a couple of techniques uh, that involves kind of drawing a basic outline of of the urban structure and then kind of rubbing it out and splashing watercolor we're not going to be doing any sort of crazy colors it's uh, more of still trying to follow the photo that I found on Pinterest uh, we did go there when we went to Japan but I, I, I'm not the best at taking photos so I haven't actually got a nice photo that I've got of it myself but I found a really good one in Pinterest and it just looks so nice at that place I'm trying to try out this loose sketch method so it's basically you kind of put in the paint first and then add the details you can do quite a bit of nice things with it from what I saw from other watercolor artists my lines are not the straightest lines um, I'm trying, I'm trying to improve every time I draw. So I've, I've decided this year that I would like to do at least 30 urban sketches. I really like urban sketches. They look quite beautiful, especially with water coloring. So what I'm doing right now, I'm basically just doing a, doing an outline of what I'm going to be drawing. Normally what I try to do is just go ahead and just apply the paint but this time I tried it a bit different uh, kind of do a loose sketch of it first and then applied the paint so this is urban sketch number two for the year so I guess 28 more to go uh, but I think urban sketches look quite beautiful and uh, it's one skill that I kind of want to get under my belt and keep going with especially when you go to travel like uh, when we went to Japan and Korea two years ago before the COVID-19 pandemic um, there were so many beautiful buildings the way that they art articulate buildings here the way the architecture is especially places like Kyoto um, in, in Japan it's just so beautiful and I, I really, I really want to be able to draw that and kind of capture the fact that it's not just from a machine that I captured it like a camera it's nothing wrong with taking photos people take beautiful photos but I kind of want to be able to draw it how I saw it as oh, and if you see this it's pretty pretty janky building over here but, but like I think it gives it a bit of a character that it's not it's not a hundred percent straight it's not super perfect it's uh, it's a bit bent uh, it's a bit flawed but I think that's that's um, that's its own characteristics and it's just a bit nice in my in my sense of it anyway in my opinion that, um, that it doesn't have to be exactly what it looks like it's more of what you see it to be and uh, over here I'm just basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding in more details uh, it's more of a guide not like a hundred percent thing that I need to definitely follow it's just I, I do want to get better at doing the loose painting sketching thing so loose painting is um, more more to do with just applying like the color first where I'm not actually doing that over here I'm just doing a big sketch as you can see I'm, I'm rubbing it out right now uh, so after I rub it out it's very hard to see but I still kind of know where some markers are so it's, it's, it's a little bit of cheating but I'm not not a hundred percent I'm just grabbing a bunch of paint so I'm grabbing like some bright orange and some brown and some green and some um, blue and black so so I'm trying the wet and wet technique here so what you do is you wet your paper with the paintbrush and then you apply the watercolor paint to it so right now I'm just loosely filling in the areas so I'm just looking at the reference picture and 
just kind of kind of seeing what color is let's say the roof what color is the walls and what I'm doing is I'm doing my signature splashing technique I think my sister will be happy with this one this time because you can uh, actually see me splash on so yeah I'll probably tag her and say look I've done my job splashing on so I just drew the doors down there leave a bit of white space for the doors uh, where will they go I'm adding a bit of orange to the side of the building what I would like to do later on is play with more different variety of colors so over here you see me just playing with colors that I actually see on the on the photo so but later on what I would like to do is like just experiment with, with different shades of purples and blues for the roof let's say and for the walls a different color that you would no normally won't see in a in the real world so I think later on that'll be more interesting so keep an eye out on that when I when I do those because I'm gonna be doing as I said a lot more urban sketching throughout this year so this bookstore was very nice like when we went in most of the books were in Japanese but some of them were in English and but it's just it's nice to see that that there is a bookstore in there that, that they value because as you see in Australia more and more bookstores are closing down and the ones that we do have are probably not the best but they they seem to value hard copy books still quite a bit from what I saw over there and uh, the staff were really nice it was a really nice day sunny day um, and everybody had a lot of fun when we went in there didn't expect uh, any surprises but we found quite a bit of surprises in there I, I found a book about World War II and the bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki which I bought my sister bought a couple of books as well from there so what I'm doing right now after I added the paint and I let it dry for a little bit which I did off camera but I'm just now adding the details and so make it look more more of a, a store so before it looked a lot more like uh, splotches of paint and now it looks more like a building that you would see in Japan uh, destroying the roof tiles and the side of the walls I'm still having a bit of problem still capturing um, dimension on sides I'm trying to work on that but uh, it's, it's a hard process but I'm trying to learn it if you see right now I'm doing the little shrubbery that's on the side of the building I'm also trying to make shrubbery look a lot more realistic I have seen a few tutorials and I'm trying to learn from them so hopefully in the future my shrubberies look a grade so I just took out these little pins so they're fiber castell shades of grey so they're good for adding details like I'm doing right now so they add really good dimensions so what I did was I put the cold colors on one side and warm colors on the other side so they are Indian ink so you can layer them on so I'm trying to put shades where I think shadows would form up so it looks more 3D in the painting uh, just to see if that was a little veranda you would have a bit of shade underneath and if that was a tin roof you would have shading on the side if the light was coming from the left so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just adding those little details and for the glasses what I try to do is I try to leave little bits of white in them so it looks like glare from the sunlight i think that kind of adds to more of a realistic feel so it doesn't look plain and just flat it has dimensions to it um, just before i put some under the roof just to make it look like the roof was elevated and i'm just kind of going through different pins finding different dark uh, shades 
those lines that I did there, I have to say, were a mistake. And I think they don't really bring that much dimension to the wall. Uh, I think I should have done more with my fine line art to give more dimension to that orange fence on the bottom. But I think I do a good job on the tiles, roof tiles actually. Uh, they actually look quite vibrant and they pop quite a bit. And uh, I think I just pointed it out to the camera that wow, that actually looks uh, like it's layered on top. I'm actually going to be doing some reviews on these pins uh, very soon and let you guys judge for yourself if there's something for you. But for me, especially when I did my urban sketches, these uh, really, really made a difference from just a, a, a painting looking a bit flat to it looking quite crisp and nice. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some other reviews soon as well. One I'm really excited about, a uh, form of Japanese watercolor paintings. So stay tuned for that. I think that'll be a good learning experience for me. I actually haven't opened it. I, I received it a couple of weeks ago. It's still in my desk. I need to open it up. I'll do that unboxing for you guys as well before I paint with it. So you guys can have a look. It looks very beautiful though, like just like everything that they make in Japan, I, I think. Like, it's, I feel like they put so much so much effort and mindset into how something looks. I am very excited to do a product review on that. I'm, I'm going to do a few different kind of product reviews between my art. Um, hope you guys like them. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, if there's something that you would like to see. I really want to help other artists who are trying to start out with these products reviews so that way they know what to get so we're coming to the end of the video over here please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this painting uh, like if you like the video subscribe i'll see you guys next time and thank you very much for watching bye